Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Cud. How are you doing? Um, yeah, so I was struggling quite a bit against Bethesda Susa. We're going to try again. Um, I'm definitely going to take a different approach this time. Uh, just discover a lair, sure. Maybe we'll check out this first. <laughs> um, ooh, it's Kaka 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 Legendary Dongla. Oh, that's spicy, actually. I don't really want to check out a legendary dawn glider. We got our, our first attack was a, a dismemberment. Another layer, huh? Is this going to be kaka kaka kaka? Legendary Isakari Raider. Now that's a little bit less spicy. I could certainly handle that, I think. Uh, we'll go into aggressive stance. Actually, no, we're in dueling stance. Let's just swipe their uh, weapon out of their hand. Oh, they'll just die. Never mind. Okay. This is a honestly a welcome difference in difficulty. I am I'm completely down for this. This is good. Um, yeah, the the trolls a hundred percent like actually disassembled me. You know, one after the other. Ooh. Well, traveling through Daramish castle Ushir stopped at a market in Tuverpier Tuverpar at an obscure shop he purchased a frosty bro, frosty bracelet and named it Frosticus Ushir friend then he went to a nearby tavern and lost Frosticus Ushir friend to a local thief he cursed the tavern and left Tuverpar now I I, I something I kind of want to try um and that is I would like to pick up start picking up engraved um and painted goods with the explicit purpose in mind that should we oh god that's bad um should we like eventually go to that uh named location then we would be friends uh in theory with the people there um in order to just like grab their stuff you know like we would be t we, we'd be on friendly terms with them uh i want to like collect you know enough things that they all give a little bit of reputation each of them um with whatever like historical or uh figure they're associated with basically the cult so it'd be kind of cool if we could like get enough of those to be on friendly terms never tried to do it before is this something I can't? Oh, it's a slender is a curry. We'll have to treat that as scrap and disassemble it. But in the meantime, let's uh, go downstairs and check out a legendary is Hope that they don't have anything, any, you know, too spicy uh, mutations. I mean, in the meantime, we are making quite a lot of, uh, getting quite a lot of bits from this because like every, Rifler is is worth a couple of bits. A Sakari banner and legendary boots. That's a big old meh for me. How come I? How come we're not disassembling that? The masterwork is a masterwork slender is Sakari rifle. Okay. We're just gonna go through every combination. I should be picking up all the daggers, but it's a, a lot of effort for me. So um, I'm just not going to for now. Besides, uh, we're a longsword build, and uh, I've figured out, you know, keys to the kingdom in terms of making money with a long longsword build, so I, I think I'm okay to pass on, on daggers for now. Wow, two fix-it spray foams. Those are quite valuable. Do we have, we have cider? Let's collect that liquid. Um... That was the freeze ray, so there's our legendary Isakari. Uh, what's your deal? Hated by dogs, loved by Isakari tribe. What a very boring character. Um, let's check out dogs. Can we um, afford to be on bad terms with dogs? If we, if we made friends with this guy, we would still be on okay terms with dogs. And... Um, Isakari tribe. Well, we wouldn't probably be on good terms with the Isakari tribe, but also what's the point? I don't know what, you know, like 
Issachari are not really a late game faction as far as I know, so I don't think that they, they would be very worth it. I'm just gonna kill them. We're on very good terms with dogs now. You are also frozen solid. That's fine. Generally speaking, um, legendaries do have some pretty good stuff. Uh, you disassemble the frozen Issachari rifle, take the frozen lead slug, slug um, bloody door, sleep gas, and I'm not seeing anything of real note here, so that's fine. Not a biggie. We got some more cider. Hey, that's something. Um, I'm gonna get head back to the stilt just so that this is, you know, made cannon. We, uh, we killed a legendary Isakari. Please don't say we're lost. Oh no, it's just making a checkpoint, I think. It, it takes a long time now to, to leave. No, please stop. To leave a town because of the checkpoint system. It's a good way of doing things. We're definitely lost. Yeah. Just gonna mash the, uh, you know, kill button. We're in dueling mode, so it shouldn't make a big difference. I guess dueling mode means we have a, a you know, an increased chance to hit. What do we pick up there? Copper nugget? Oh, that's not bad. You are famished. All right. That's a lot of dragonflies currently dying to one tortoise because they cannot pen his hard outer shell to get to his chewy gooey center sorry i am um, i'm often reminded by um this um uh, far side comic of the polar bears eating an igloo i don't know if you're allowed are, are we still allowed to call them igloos i think i think so i think that's still okay um anyway there's like you got to try this it's got like a hard shell but then it's got like a nice chewy center good stuff there's a few of those um old gary larson cartoons that i i, I particularly like um I'm trying to remember there's one uh um I mean, is this just gonna, gonna become far side now me me thinking back on far side comics how come i not i'm not rifling through these trash piles are we not on good terms yeah i guess we're not on good terms with that bird you have you do not have a missile weapon equipped okay why not when did that happen it's rusted oh oh i don't know when that happened but that's real bad um i mean we can fix it really easy we got three fix it uh foams so let's go ahead and apply that to our missile weapons jack laser and now we it should be fixed it should be fine there we go that was a, a bit of a shock actually <laughs> i was like whoa <gasps> oh no um just checking our equipment for now what was i just oh right we were fighting a bird there we go and we are no longer fighting a bird Stupid kudzu. God, I hate kudzu. Kudzu has been like the villain of this series. Why are we enemies to that dog? The feral dog. We're not on okay to Sorry, the birdie. Ah, uh, stop. I hate kudzu. Holy crap. Oh my God, that is so bad. <laughs> Compass bracelet rusted. What is happening right now? Are these guys like infected? Is that what's up? It's a real shame because there's a lot of like trash here that I would love to go through. 
I guess I will. I refuse to give it up. But like, you know, going through it and then also potentially losing our gear is not really what I'm up for. Look at all this stuff. Uh, find nothing. I'm wondering, um, have we taken, uh, customs and folk? We have taken trash divining and we have scavenging, so we have twice the chance of making use of trash. We need Tinker 2 at some point. Wow, I'm really not finding a lot of stuff. Oh, you note the location of the hydropon. We found the hydropon in, uh, in some trash. That's really fun. I like that. I, I honestly would have missed that. I would have completely missed that had I not like decided to try and see what we're actually getting from this trash. We're still lost, by the way. I'm not just like, you know, distracted right now. There we go. Regained our bearings. Notice some ruins. Sure, we'll check out the ruins real quick. You know, the dang shame of it is that um, probably I'm going to forget about Hydropon because we're going to die in Bethesda Susa. Bronze longsword. I'll take the water skin. Just gonna, I'm gonna take a sip out of my coffee and uh, while I collect some stuff here. Okay, well, apparently I'm gonna get attacked by a gnoll worm. Dang, gnoll worms won't know you any peace. Is that it? That's pretty much it, huh? Ooh, hola, legendary chef. I just happened to move one, uh, wow. One, one cell north and, and I found some interesting stuff here. I can't remember what asphalt does for cooking properties. I would like to collect that cider, please. Oh, that's blood. Oh. I do believe blood is actually worth cooking with. I can't remember what it does. Yeah, I'll collect all that. Um, I can't remember what slime does. I think it just lets you spit slime. <laughs> Fermented tongue. Wow, we're getting some really nice ingredients here. Congealed Hulk honey. Salt. Salt is nice to, to have. Sun-dried bananas. You know I love my bananas. Flame beard gland paste. Cured dawn glider tail is nice. More asphalt. Don't need that. Soul curd is nice. Neutron flux. Now there's something. That's, that's an interesting one. We got some lava. Um, this is, this is really cool. Uh, we got some more salt. I'll take it just for the water skin. A weird artifact. What is this? Gravity grenade. Ooh, full right battle axe, full handed, uh, two handed full right maul and a uh, burnt capacitor. A lot of nice stuff here. I want to see what the, um, there, there's a, uh, uh, an oven that I'd like to check out. I have to assume there's some good stuff in there. Wild Rice is actually really cool. Congealed Shade order, uh, uh, shade Oil Crusty Loaf Fermented Yonder Cane. Wow. That's like a lot of cool ingredients we just got there. I want to check out the meal. What kind of meal do we have? We have three different meals. Soggy Spooky Mats. <laughs> uh, shredded Spice and Law over Slaw. Flowers lag root kugel. Let's try the soggy spooky mat. Whenever you eat a dry a dreadroot tuber or law petal, you don't thirst for the next twelve hours. Eh. Shredded uh <clears throat> Ooh, that one's quite nice actually. Plus five quickness, plus two mental armor. And let's try the last one. 
plus two mental armor plus four willpower. I have to know what uh, causes that one. What one was that? Flowers, lag root, kugel. Um, we can make friends with them. Loved by the Merchant's Guild, disliked by cannibals, hated by arachnids, disliked by newly sentient beings. Wow, they're really not great, to be honest. Merchant's Guild is quite good, though. Uh, I'll think about it. So we have Chef Ola's Boiling Immaculate Chrome is my third collaboration. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this would be a recipe, but I'm not sure. I guess if I um, made friends with them, then there's a chance we could get him to... Uh, teach us some of their recipes these are their named water skins i'm not sure why they're proud of that those aren't recipes i would have thought that the uh, legendary chef would you know have recipes to sell rather than just ingredients crushed grave moss i don't think i've ever played with crushed grave moss like i don't know what it does um, we can just sell this for money. Eh, screw it. I'm gonna make friends with them. The newly ascendian beings is, uh, not, not a good one. Here, have some secrets. Would you gift me your weird artifact? That's a weird one. Location of the legendary hatter. I don't actually know... Uh, apparently, I know about a legendary hatter. And uh, here, have my secret recipe for sun-dried bananas. I guess I could have taught him the Barathermite's porridge. Share a secret with me. Teach me to cook one of your signature dishes. I would learn soggy, spooky mess. The least interesting of the three recipes. Was Isn't that a bummer? Um... Give me your weird artifact. It's probably not good. Share a secret with me. Someone told me that somebody sowed the fields of the villagers of Kamura with salt. I don't know if that's... Is that just gossip? Okay. Well, that was hardly exciting. Engraved weird artifact. Scoped Isakari rifle. It is it is engraved. Um, oh, it has a Reshef lore. Nice. I don't think that that works for us, though. And then what do we have here? Uh, a turbo. Hmm. Actually, a pretty decent item. Um, is like a mid-tier. Uh, I just marked it as important by accident. It's like a mid-tier bow. Uh, it does require a cell, which is fine. And it does require uh, our, um, arrows, but I do believe it is actually quite good. It, it has four pen without a cell, and then with a cell, what happens? Does it become better? Doesn't look like it. It's just a four pen. That doesn't seem very good. This weapon's increased the base penetration of its ammo by four. Oh, okay. So I guess you can use the actual um bow as a weapon and then you know like a non-ranged one um receive bonus penetration based on the wielder's strength so that's something increase um the damage die of its ammo by four increase the damage bonus of its ammo by one i mean it's a cool it's a cool weapon i probably will throw it into the um the pit Actually, I guess I want to keep... No, I, I want. I do want to disassemble this. Because it's just res Reshef lore. Um, a cool... A cool discovery. Not particularly helpful. We did get some really good ingredients. That's like the main takeaway there. I actually should come back here and um, throw some stuff. Like, I'll, I'm going to throw the... Maybe I'll just sell the turbo, in fact. Actually... I want to know where this um, legendary hatter is. Some say they, some say that they were mad. Um, so name locations, merchants. 
Workshop of the Legendary Hatter. I assume that this was um, information that I had gleaned from... Oh god, they are a difficult one to get to. Well, we'll do that later, I think. Uh, from, from, like, rifling through trash. All of our name locations are in, like, the worst spots. I'm pretty sure that's a name location in the Rainbow Wood on our right side there. Which is already kind of a bummer. Um, then we have name location in the Moonstair, which is also a bummer. Then we have a moon, uh, a legend, a historic site or name location in the Palladium Reef, which is a huge bummer. None of that is good. Then we have a name location in the river. That sucks too, by the way. Um, all right, we're just going to head to Bethesda Sousa. You're lost. Never mind. You regain your bearings. Okay. Oh, we have, um, we have Neutron Flux. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you discover runes. Man, I'm all over the place right now, aren't I? We want to go back to, um, the Six Day Stilt. And I'm going to use Precognition and our, um, our Neutron Flux. Cook with it. I can't remember, like, I can't remember, do we eat it or do we just cook with it? I can't remember what the, what the deal is there. It's been a while since I've cooked with precog, with, um, Neutron Flux. So let's make a, or go to our campfire and we are going to start a vision. And we're going to cook, um, choose ingredients to cook with, and we're going to cook with a dram of Neutron Flux, and that'll be it. <laughs> Proclaimed gunsmith's left hand, it a flattened thread from an Isakari banner into a pot and stir. No reaction. Yo, we got plus one AV permanently. Love that for us. Just a guy on TikTok, um, like eating neutron flux. Neutron flux. Neutron flux. Neutron. Would you like to return to the start of your vision? No, we are very good. We just got plus one AV. We're at 15 AV. That's got to count for something. We're lost again. Uh. We're in the mountains. We're lost. Still no Jasper. Okay, regain your bearings. Let's get let's get out of here. You notice some ruins? Sure, I'll check out the ruins real quick. We are like sometimes this just this just happens. Like sometimes you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go to um. Bethesda Sousa, I'm gonna go to the, you know, an important place, the place for the episode, and, oh, hey, um, you know, what's that, and also what's that, and also what's that, you know what, I don't, I really don't want this Snapjaw to kill that robot before we do, because I want the XP. Apparently we don't get credit for that, because they did too much damage to it. Isn't that kind of a bummer? I heard a... yeah, okay, there. Let's just, uh, we'll do, we'll do some more swipes. We're level 22. Apparently, we don't know how to disassemble this yet, or don't, we don't know to dis disassemble a rifle turret's left hard point. And then we have a painted Isakari rifle. The turret had a painted Isakari rifle. That's interesting. Ushir. Um, isn't Ushir the one we are currently collecting uh, items for? We'll, we'll grab that. It's unfortunate that it's an, uh, a rifle because that's a little bit heavier than I really want um, for collecting, you know, painted items. But, you know, it's fine. 
Also, we can only carry or hold one missile weapon. It would be better, I think, if it was a painted pistol because we can hold two pistols. Yes, I mean, these things kind of do matter because, like, the more things we hold, the better our chance is of being on friendly terms with the cult of Oshir. Okay, um, God, are you going to hate me for this? But I'm going to go back to the six days tilt. <laughs> There's a ruin. We're going to check out the ruin. Oh my God. I just like, I just keep trying to get to Bethesda Sousa and there's just more interesting things along the way. A thistle zips. It just occurred to me that you really have to grab the engraved or painted item when you discover the lore because if we did if we find another painted item or engraved item that has the same lore on it then it, it's not going to let us know about that is it hated by arachnids definitely gonna grab that reputation real quick puts us on almost good terms with arachnids just need another couple of uh of those. Russia floor. Nice. I kind of wonder why there's no... Someone is going to tell me that I already know the answer to this question, but I forget these things. You know, I'm not... I, I, don't, I'm not, I don't have a good head for details like this, but... Um, where's Reshef's tomb? You know, like... Um, it seems like there's a bunch of historic sites for all of the other sultans, but where's like, where's this, the, the historic site commemorating Reshef's earning of the Reshef boon, you know? Is it just the Tomb of the Eaters? I wouldn't think it would be just the Tomb of the Eaters. That doesn't make sense to me, really. Because he did other things. Or she. I actually can't remember if Reshef, what, what Reshef's uh, gender is. I don't know. Maybe it's not specified. Okay. Um, I'll actually, I will hand over our rest ship. The game is acting really slow right now, and I'm not sure why. Share some secrets. Accept. We get 9,000 XP. Not enough to level, but it's enough. Okay. I thought we got lost there a, sec in a second, but um, it was just me setting a checkpoint again. Okay, let's get to Bethesda Sousa. We're, we're almost there. We actually made it. Oh my God. Just in time for the episode to end. What was that? Oh, that was a boulder. Men sure just they're never a joke they're always kind of tough you know but we do have one more av than we did last time that counts for something actually quite for counts for quite a bit we'll do a stunning force haven't done a stunning force in a while Oh, we can proselytize. We should probably try and proselytize a uh, Kragmensch. That was dumb. I forgot that we picked up proselytize for free. We do have tons of grenades. Should help. Um, oh, there's a Kragmensch. Okay, proselytize. Nope, never mind. Do we have some mutation points to spend? We do. I wonder, can we throw a couple of those on sleep gas generation? And actually, uh, okay, we can't do that one yet. 
actually is Carapus at its max now? It's a little bit worrying. I'm pretty sure um, I think we can use a rapid advancement on it, but I don't know if outside of that if we can increase it much. I'm convinced. Okay. So we'll leave it here. Uh, we're going to leave our my second attempt at, um, you know, going down Bethesda Sousa for next time. Tell you what I am going to do, though, is we're going to cook a, a, reci a, a new recipe here. Something something with some spice. Um, I'm going to do congealed hulk honey. I kind of want to try... I want to do congealed love. And I'm hoping for extra strength, but also beguiling. That is what I'm hoping for there. Extra strength with beguiling. There it is. Um, I was just going to see, see like if there was one that was like, take whenever you take damage, you could beguile potentially. That would be really nice. This is actually kind of tempting. But I'm not gonna do it. It's the only reason it's tempting is because it's at such a high rank. But I'm pretty sure our ego is going to give us a slight boost for beguiling. Okay, we have beguiling at four. That's not bad. All right, that's um, that's definitely gonna do it. If you are enjoying the series, definitely give a, a give the video a like. Hit the like button. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.